Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of Python's Ram and also a welcome to Riley. Hello sir, what have you got for me today? An angel halo, a gi or a g. We've got some, uh, we've got some foe or fur. I can't remember how to pronounce it. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go and buy. Uh, oh, really? Wow, I don't have a lot of money like at all. Well, we only have enough to buy two of them, so that's fantastic. And we can't even buy the gi, so that's good. Uh, green team platforms and blocks. These things are pretty damn good actually. He only seems to sell one color at a time though, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it's all good. But anyways, guys, what I want to do to start off this episode is put the feelers out there. I'm going to ask you guys to do something I wouldn't normally ask at the beginning of the episode. If you guys are still hyped for this series and for more content from this series, then I want you guys to go down and leave a like rating. Leave a like rating to support the series if you want to see more, because I have noticed, it has to be said, I have noticed a decrease in not only viewership, but also like ratings for the series. So I want you guys to, I want you guys to leave your suggestions or, or leave a like rating if you are still hyped for the series. If not, then what I may wind up doing is replacing this series with something else. Now, I know I had some pretty epic goals for this series, but uh, I don't know, my friends. I have noticed the severe decrease in the numbers for the series. Uh, I don't know. If you guys are still hyped for the series and you want to continue seeing more stuff on the series, then I want you guys to head down and leave a like right. It'll be very much appreciated, and it's not something I'll ask again. So, yeah, I'm just putting the feelers out there. If you're still hyped, then do be sure to leave a like right. It'll be much, much appreciated for those of you guys who who are still hyped for the series and are still hyped for Terraria content in general. But anyways, in today's episode, uh, we are going to be going ahead and hopefully heading down to the lava levels because I would like to make a start on potentially getting some Molten Armor because Molten Armor is going to be very, very good against Skeletron because, because of course, my friends, for those of you guys who don't know or can't remember, this is Expert Mode. And Expert Mode Skeletron is not something to be snuffed at. It's not something to be scoffed at or laughed at. That guy right there is a... He's, he's quite difficult, actually. It has to be said. He's quite a difficult boss to take down in Expert Mode because he has several different attack patterns. Obviously... Yeah, you got the default attack, whereby he just goes around and slaps you in the face with his hands. And, uh, you know, his spin attack is a lot faster. And then later down the line, uh, what will wind up happening once he's got lower health, he'll start shooting out projectiles at you, which do a lot of damage. So, yeah. Like I said, he's not a boss to be laughed at anymore. He really isn't, especially in expert mode. So, that is why we are going to do our best to make sure we are all tooled up and weaponed up and ready to go. So we can take his butt down at some point. And uh, hopefully everything will be good. So, yeah. In the meantime, we have ourselves a task of finding a big obsidian pool pit lava pit thing. So, that's going to be good. Wait, what was that? We've got a bat banner. Hey, man, I'll take a bat banner any day. Thanks, buddy. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue heading down because, yeah, we need to do it. All right, so I'm thinking we go ahead and skip until we find some lava, perhaps? I think that's a good place to skip to. So, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, a bone sword. Oh, check it out. Wow. <laughs> well, there you go. Expert mode increased rare drop chances. <laughs> Pretty evident right there. Holy crap, man. That's pretty dang cool. But anyways, like I said, we're going to continue and we are going to see if we can't find ourselves some lava. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh, check it out, guys. There's a mana statue here. Or a star statue, I guess it's technically cool, but it will give you mana if you attach a wire link to it. So that's kind of nice. Hm, I'm a big fan of that. Cheers to our... Hey, a Mr. Detonator. Boof. Yeah. What is that? Is that... It's all silver. Wow. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we might as well go ahead and dig the rest of this stuff out. <laughs> Yay! It's Silver Central up in here. Ooh, check it out, guys. A heart crystal. I will definitely take one of those. Cheers, buddy. All right, and some bats and stuffs as well. All right, so we're now up to 320 health, which is a very, very, very healthy amount, if I do say so myself. Nice one. Okay, so let's, uh, nothing over there, unfortunately. I feel like we'll be starting to get to the lava levels very, very soon, though. Very, very shortly, in fact. I don't know. We'll just have a look at the map real quick. We're about two-thirds of the way down. So, I'm thinking that we won't need to go too much lower. And we'll find some lava. So, yeah. Let's keep going, friendos. Oh, snap. There's a nymph down there. 
I don't think I'm going to be wanting to get on the wrong side of that gal because she will destroy me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, the salamander just did a whole bunch of damage. What the heck? Of all the things to do damage to me. Oh, oh boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. I could do this. I could do this. Come on, Enchanted Sword. Enchanted Sword versus the name from the blooming Enchanted Sword 1. Oh, and a rally. Huh. Well, that's, that's fine and dandy, I guess. Wow, two rare drops in one go. Okay, so we now have a metal detector. I'm going to pull it in there so it doesn't take up a slot in our... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you guys were saying, and very correctly so, that if we put them in our social slot, they actually don't actually activate, which kind of sucks. So let's go and put that there and put that there. So our informational accessories are going to return to their rightful place in the inventory so we can actually see where we are, what time it is, etc, etc. And then actual accessories, which aren't informational, I will put in the in the social slot so it doesn't take up inventory slots. So, yeah. A little bit of meth busting for you guys right there. That's a thing that happens. So, yeah. Alright. So, anyways, we do have... We do have lava. Yeah, we have it, man. But also, we've got a little pit over here. I'm feeling like we can go ahead and uh, dig this out for now. And then if you look on the little mini map in the little top right hand corner, there is a big, big water pool, which we're hopefully going to go ahead and filter into the larger lava pool to our left hand side. And then we should be able to get ourselves a bunch of obsidian from that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it, my friends. Let's go ahead and uh, just dig all that up. How much did we get? 31. It's a nice amount, but it's not going to be enough. Right. Okay. So uh, thinking about it logically, if we go ahead and put some stone right here so we can actually try to filter the water in the correct direction, we should be able to get it to go down there. I feel like that's now correctly filtered. Alright, sweet. So, by the looks of the minimap, if we dig over in this direction, we should indeed be able to find the underside of the water body. Okay. Shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. It looks like a pretty big body of water as well. I think it's going to easily overshadow the amount of lava that's there. So, that's always good to know. Right, okay, so let's do that real quick. And keep going across, maybe a few more blocks, and we should start seeing the water above us real quick. Come on. Yep, I'm seeing the water just a little bit. There it is. All right. So, begin the flood. All right, there we go. <laughs> the flood commences. Oh, my Lord. I am literally the worst person in the world. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Right, here we go. Now we can get ourselves a butt ton of obsidian. So, yeah, let's do ourselves a bit of a mining time lapse and see just how much obsidian we can get. And there we have it, my friends. The entirety of the lava pit right there has just been mined out. So, yeah, man. How much do we get? 174 bits of obsidian. That's pretty crazy. And also, according to this, there's a life crystal nearby. Hmm. Uh, where it actually is is another matter. Or well, finding it is going to be another matter. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm feeling like it's going to be to our left-hand side because, uh, well, that's where all the unexplored parts of the world are currently. So, I'm thinking maybe we head over this way. Uh, we haven't got any bombs. Ah, dang it. Well, it'd be nice if we had bombs, but... Oh, well. Can't have everything in the way. Wait, hang on. Life... Oh! It is saying the life crystal is over this way. Huh. Okay. Well, maybe it's above us somewhere. It's definitely somewhere around here. I think it's time to go on a hunt. Let's do it. Aha! And you thought you could hide from me, Sonny Jimbo. Alright, well, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. And let's have ourselves 340 health to our name. Awesome, man. Alright, so now that we have a bunch of obsidian, uh, can we make a furnace down here? We should be able to, right? Oh, oh no, we don't have any wood. Of all the things to not have on a mining trip, apparently I don't have any wood, like, at all. Well, that just kind of sucks. All right, come on. You lot could die. All of you could die. There we go. And get destroyed. Yeah, I'll take all of those glow sticks. Hey, you there. Get destroyed. All right. Uh, magic mirror. Let's get out of here. And let's head up here to make ourselves one of those beautiful obsidian skulls. Boof. Intrepid. Eh, it's a bit poop, let's be honest, but... Eh, oh well. Right, uh, I want to buy some bombs so I can, like, mine stuff like a pro. Hmm. 
Although I'm thinking the next thing we could potentially do is maybe try to get the molten armor. But that's going to take a lot of hellstone. And I think that might be a thing to do in the next episode. So I think for the remainder of this episode, what I would like to personally do is I would really like... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try to get ourselves... 400 health, okay? I'm thinking 400 health is going to be a nice goal to aim for. And I think the place to do it might actually be in the underground desert. So I'm thinking we head down real quick. And we head over to the right-hand side into the underground desert. Try to find some unexplored areas. And do some spelunking. So, yeah. I'm feeling it, man. Let's head down to the underground desert and let's get this thing done. Oh, hey there, Mr. Gold Coined Black Slime. Ha! <laughs> Give me those gold coins. Fantastic, man. Alright, guys. The first Belunker potion has been consumed. And according to my rare thingy detector, there's a chest nearby. Oh, it's down to the bottom left. Wait, really? Oh, what, man? I don't want to be going down there. I want to find stuff that's, like, immediately accessible to us. You know what I'm saying? Although, I don't know. There might be something cool inside it. Hey, you lot. Get destroyed. Get destroyed. There you go. Alright, uh, maybe, like, there's an easy way to get to it from, like, up here. Here? I'm hoping there is. Because, you know, an unopened chest is like an unopened dream. You never know. You never know what you can achieve. Oh, good lord. Really, Mr. Antline Charger? Get out of here, man. And same with you. I will not be destroyed by you guys today. I don't care how much you charge at me. Y'all ain't killing me. It's not happening. Oh, desert fossils. Should we get them? I don't know if we should get them. I don't know if the desert armor is worth getting. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I'm not entirely sure. There is a new armor set for 1.3.3, isn't there? It's like a hybrid melee mage set. I can't remember what it's called, though. Uh, shoe spikes. That's pretty cool, actually. I'll take them because I haven't got them yet. I don't think I have, anyway. Well, uh, yeah. That's kind of nice. It'll be nice if we could find some heart crystals, though. So, yeah. Let's keep going, friendos. Aha! Another chest. Another bunch of loot. Right, what's it going to be? Uh, an enchanted boomerang? Uh... I'm not sure what I feel about that. I could, I could perhaps make it into a flamerang. Yeah, could be a thing I could do, but I'm not sure. It is a good weapon, it has to be said. And it does do melee damage, so it might do quite well with molten armor. Because molten armor is a melee set, right? So, I don't know. I feel like I might be a cool idea. Well, whatever the case, let's keep going. And another chest, which, oh, for goodness sake. You have to give me my mortal enemy, huh? Get out, get out of here, and get out of here, and give me the chest, and we will never speak of the flare gun again. Get out. No one likes you. Aha! I see you down there, guarded by a blooming piranha and a j blue jellyfish. What's going on there, man? Come on, I want my sweet rewards. Ooh, a jellyfish necklace. Huh, I'm actually going to take that and put it on. Sweet! Alright, I am going to eat one of them. It's weird how you, like, consume it, like, eat it. Imagine eating a heart crystal in real life. That would be painful. You would not ever want that to be a thing that you have to do. <laughs> Anyways, two more heart crystals to go. Let's get it. Ooh! Hey, guys, check it out below me. I think there's a gem cave. Not only that, there is also another life crystal right there. Which is, oh, make that too. Well, there we go. The blooming goal has been, the goal has been achieved. That's pretty sweet, man. I'm really, really happy we found them in really, really good time. Okay, nice one. So I am going to head up to this guy because he's, he's apparently there. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, red counterweight, that'll be useful for yo-yos eventually. So I can't buy it any, oh, I can buy it, but it's going to wipe us out of cash like entirely. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. We already have a rally, so I'm going to buy one of these and give him that. And then I'm also going to go and buy some bombs. How many can we get? 23? There we go. So we've got a total of 29. Hey, man. I'll take that any day. Sweet. All right. And you're going to give me a bone pickaxe, right? No, 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 no bone pickaxe. Ah, dang it. All right. Well, the final thing I want to do real quick is I want to go into this gem cave because I do believe this is going to be Topaz. Is it going to be to it is going to be topaz? Okay, so let's get rid of this uh, lead ore here real quick. And uh, let's see just how big this thing is. Uh, okay. Oh, it's mostly underground as well. Okay, well, maybe the flares could actually come in useful here. Uh, oh, wow. There's a lot of topaz. There is a lot of topaz here. Right, okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. Can I, like, turn off 
the placement grid? I don't know. Maybe it's in video. No controls. No. I think it might be something to do to be done at the title menu. Right, in which case, I'm actually going to purposely use another Spelunker potion just so I can easily see where the rest of the topaz is. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Oh, my lordy lordy. I can't wait to see how much topaz we get out of this, man. This is going to be crazy. All right, we've got another bit right there. This is quite a big gem cave, actually. Actually, eh, I wouldn't say it's big. It's maybe like a mid-sized gem cave. So maybe we'll get like 40. Maybe 40 topads? 32 is the amount we got. Okay, well, that's pretty good nonetheless. Pretty good nonetheless, it has to be said. Nice one. Alrighty, guys. Well, on that note, I think it's time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, do be sure to hit that like button. It's the best way to let me know if you want to see more. And I'd very much appreciate it nonetheless. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos. Alright, but thanks for watching, my friends. My name is Python, and I'll see you guys in the next video.